welcome back to B Vlogs. So, as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be trying to trick the Akinator app into guessing himself. I did a whole video about this only a few days ago, and there's this warning going around that says you should never try to trick him to guess himself because he knows what you're doing, he gets very offended, and he turns evil, apparently. The first time you make him guess yourself, he can do it because he's all-knowing, he knows it all. And by the way, if you don't know what app I'm talking about, go catch up on my main channel because there's a lot to explain. But I did download the app, and apparently if you make him guess himself, when he shows his picture, his eyes will be kind of red, he'll have sharp teeth, he'll look really creepy. And if you do it for a second time, when he shows his picture, he'll look even worse, very monster-like, warped, terrifying, and this horrible buzzing sound will start coming from your phone, and for the rest of your life, you'll always hear that sound, and it'll haunt you forever and ever. So that's what we're doing today. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. Okay. I feel so. like we're a little bit, uh, at least, accustomed to like horrible buzzing noises because of all like the bird deterrents outside that like scream at me every time I take the dogs out. We so we tried putting okay. sound deterrents outside, but they are still not helping really. So. No, no, they're not. <sighs> they're, the birds. they're hurting us, I'd say, more than anything. I think the birds probably think we put out some music for them so they can just jam with it. That's why they just keep coming back more and more and in greater numbers. Yeah, we should be in that horror movie, The Birds. I feel like we'd do very well in that. The camera battery's low. Dang it, Jess. Dang it. <laughs> You're making fun of my books, aren't you? No. We got a collection now. So yesterday was actually quite a busy day. We had the Ontario election going on and afterwards, Jesse and I decided, hey, why don't we like, treat ourselves to something, so we went down to our local Indigo Chapters. Bookstore! We went to a bookstore. Unfortunately, we couldn't find the books that Jesse was looking for. Well, we could, but not in hardcover, so... I need know, hardcovers. That's, that's not allowed. <laughs> but I noticed that they had a bunch of the D&D source books. I had these two previously, and then we picked up these three there. And one of them was 25% off, which was this one right here. And then... I picked up these two as well. And you know, they're really cool to look at, nice hardcover, always well made. But when we were in the aisle, I decided to just do a cruise through just to make sure I was getting what I wanted. Cause I know this is an adventure book just to kind of help you out. And when we were looking, I opened it up and I noticed something a little weird. It's upside down. Yep. The book was printed upside down. And? You can see there's like the little print tests yeah. all the way at the top and because of that the top part of the book itself is a little bit kind of rough to it but yeah the entire thing is, is upside, upside down, down. <laughs> so my book's a little drunk that's okay but we took this up to the cashier and they were really good and they gave me the 15 percent off kind of damages rule that they have because they said you can go down to the coals you know it's down the road a little bit but they have one that's fine i said you know what i kind of like this one more because who else is gonna have a book that is upside down. And how funny is it gonna be to be reading this book in front of people, having it sitting on the table like this so I can read it. I know, it looks like it looks like you're joking. I know, it does. But it's real. <laughs> and I was showing my friends, like, man, you should get a refund on that. I said, I bought it for this very reason. It's unique. <laughs> it's unique. Very unique. Yes, it's weird and we're gonna embrace it. We like weird. So yeah, we got my books. But I believe we're supposed to talk to a phone now. We are. Yeah. We are gonna talk to the Akinator. But be first, I have a weird story. Did I say but be first? But before. But be first. Am I like from Shakespearean times? Sorry, the books. But be first. The We're gonna do something else. You. I have a weird story, and that is that I had a really weird dream about my sister. A very weird dream, and I told Ty this uh, dream already. You did? Yes. He forgets everything. Probably. Yeah. It's in one ear and out the other. <laughs> So you guys know how my sister and I, we love Tim Burton, okay? Her favorite Tim Burton movie is Nightmare Before Christmas, and mine is probably like Beetlejuice or Edward Scissorhands, I'm not really sure. I love them all. Anyway, I had this dream that she went and she got Nightmare Before Christmas tattoos all over her face. Like I'm talking giant tattoos of each character. Like she had Sally on this cheek, she had Jack on this cheek, she had Oogie Boogie on her forehead. And like the tattoos themselves were really well done. They were really detailed, artistic, looked great, but just not for a face. And I was horrified for her and she was so excited and she came up and she's like, Jess, look at my new tattoos, how good do I look? And I just didn't have the heart to tell her that they looked so bad and she just basically ruined her life. <laughs> and then she like went to the bathroom and she was like putting makeup over it, but you can see the dark shadows of the characters under the makeup and I was like, oh no, no, no. Anyway, I woke up and I told her and she's like, what the heck, Jess, I would never do that. Especially right before a wedding too. I know, and I was thinking that in the dream, I'm like, oh no, her wedding's coming up. <laughs> 
anyway. If you want to do that, that's fine. It's just, they're forever, you know? Remember that when you get tattoos on your face. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna make the Akinator guess himself now. Okay, Akinator, challenge me. We're gonna trick you, that's what we're gonna do. Is your character female? No. Is your character real? I guess he doesn't count as real, right? No, but no. what is real, actually? What is real? How can we define real? Are we real? That's actually a big philosophical question. It is, we can get into that later. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna say no. Is your character evil? Well, according to this creepypasta, he is, but I don't think outwardly, so we're gonna say no. And I don't think people believe that they themselves are truly evil. Probably not, that's another philosophical question. <laughs> We're getting way too into this. This is probably better suited for like a college discussion. Yes, okay. Is your character from a Japanese anime? No, but he might want to be. Does your character have a human head? Yes. Has your character been in a movie? No. Oh, he's really thinking now. <laughs> he's like, wait, they're tricking me. Is your character originally from a video game? This isn't really a video game. No, this is like an application. Is your character from a TV series? No. Is your character a famous YouTuber? No, he wants to be though. Is your character a genie? He knows now, I know he knows, yes. Did you, what? That's so random. Did your character swim in lava? He's like, I think I know. Is your character a mind reader? I believe so. Does your character have a blue pelt? Is that a pelt? Well, I'm assuming skin, but that's more of like a blouse, I think, is what he's wearing. Is that what he means? No, I don't think so. I think blue pelt. I'm gonna I'm put thinking, don't know. Yeah, don't, I <laughs> don't, don't think know. so. Does your character wear long sleeves? Yes. Does your character usually, how does he not guess by now? No. Does your character sit in a chair? No, you float, boy. Is your character a system? Probably. Yes, don't know. I think probably, because I, I think they're a system. Akinator! I think of me. Okay, so he doesn't look scary in this picture. Looks rather proud, actually. He does. He's like, you were tricking me, but I won. I don't think- Are this... we supposed to do this multiple times? Only if the first one looks slightly scary, which it doesn't. That could be a little scary. A it little bit. It doesn't look scary to me. We're gonna tell him he won. I'm disappointed. I kind of wanted to see a scary face. And we're so climactic right now. Just, <laughs> I know. So that, uh, I feel like I should have like some confetti in my pocket just to like be able to throw it up. One time we should like scare you guys and actually make it really creepy and then be like, we're just kidding. Because you don't expect it because we're so But then no, no one would so trust honest. us. No one would trust us. We need to keep our fan. integrity. I know. Yes. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you in our next one.